Hello guys this is Ravent from Digi Integrity welcome to episode 63 Google CEO Sundar Pichai on Monday said that he was devastated to see the worsening covid crisis in India and pledged rupees 135 crores for medical supplies and support in the country From Zomato to delivery here's what Indian tech startups are doing to fight the second covid-19 wave in India The pandemic has left Delhi and Maharashtra down on their knees with hospitals flooded everywhere so startups like Zomato are trying to help Food delivery app Zomato has added a setting to its platform that allows user to mark order as urgent If order is delivered to a covid-19 patient Zomato wants user to use it as an ambulance service Flipkart has announced the date of its next big sale title Big Saving Days The sale will be held from May 2nd to May 7th and will offer discount prices, exchange offers and no cost EMIs on smartphones, electronics and other accessories to customer. The e-commerce major says the upcoming sale will host flagship smartphones from the likes of Apple, Vivo, Asus and Xiaomi with unbeatable offers. In addition to smartphone it confirms up to 80% discount on electronics and accessories as well as up to 75% of television sets and appliances. A crazy deal sections for instance will offer new deals on mobiles, TVs and laptops at 1 am, 8 am and 4 pm every day. Similarly a sale on rush hours will offer the lowest price of the sale till 2 am. Flipkart has come up with a new micro site for the big savings day sale as a web page the deals on smartphones will offer sale discount additional discount on bank cards no cost kmi options as well as an exchange deals Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Pro 5G could be in the works the flagship chipset may launch around the third quarter of 2021 Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 Pro is said to be limited to China Unisoc the Chinese semiconductor company has revamped its line of 5G chipsets and going forward its 5G chipsets will be announced under a new line called Tangula the manufacturer revealed the name was adapted from the name of the source of the Yangtze River Xiaomi CEO Li Jun announced that Xiaomi's MI SmartBand 6 has surpassed 1 million shipments globally and keep in mind that most of those are from China since sales had started on April 2 but it only went global a few weeks later even so the MI Band 3 hit the 1 million mark in 17 days and MI Band 4 got even more quicker in just 8 days Garena Free Fire has just announced the Free Fire City Open tournament. The tournament will feature the top 12 Free Fire teams across the nation take each over on a prize pool of 60 lakhs. These 12 teams will consist of top 10 teams from 8 states. The Microgravity Gaming League has been announced by Microgravity Ventures Private Limited in India. As per the press release, Microgravity is hosting this tournament on 8th and 9th of May in partnership with Battlefy and HP. The tournament will be divided into 3 phases: Squad qualifier phase battle phase and a zero hour phase the details of this each phase can be found on macrogravity's uh, official website the winner will be selected based on fifa 21 platform access through playstation 4 WhatsApp is now testing a 24 hour option for disappearing messages on Android iOS and web desktop as per a report. The instant messaging app already has an option that allows user to set a 7 days time for disappearing messages. With this option, WhatsApp now competes with reveal apps like Telegram that gives users multiple option to choose from. Recently, WhatsApp was reportedly spotting testing a voice messages playback speed feature on the public beta channel. Honor will skip the 40 series and jump straight to the Honor 50. The series will unveiled in May and the top of the line model should be the Honor 50 Plus. This will be a proper flagship model. It will have a 6.79 AMOLED display with 1440 pixel plus resolution and a 120 Hz refresh rate. It will run the Magic UI 4.0 software though at this point it is not clear that it will have a Google services on board or not. Anyway, Pro Plus will be powered by Snapdragon 888 chipset. Note that the GPU is misidentified as a Mali G78. The chip will be hooked up with LPDDR5 RAM and 8 GB seems to be the base and UFS 3.1 storage and starting at 128 GB. Moving on to the camera, the rear will feature a 50 megapixel main and 13 megapixel ultra wide and 8 megapixel of telephoto modules. and there will be a 3D TOF sensor to the front wheel home a dual camera of 32 megapixel and 8 megapixel it comes with a battery of 4400 mAh battery which supports of 66 watt wired and 50 watt wireless charging
Samsung's 200 megapixel camera sensor could debut alongside a Xiaomi's flagship smartphone. Xiaomi's 2022 flagship, presumably the Mi 12, could be the world's first smartphone to run on a 200 megapixel camera sensor. The unnamed sensor could be 1 inch in size. Samsung is likely to unveil it sometime in September this year. Oppo Smart TV K9 is expected to launch alongside the Oppo K9 5G in China on May 6. The company is expected to announce as many as seven new products, including an affordable smart TV, Oppo K9 5G smartphone, Oppo Enco Air, True Wireless earbuds, and the next generation Oppo Band Fitness Tracker. Oppo Smart TV K9 is also listed on JD.com, revealing its feature. As per the shopping website, the Oppo Smart TV K9 will offer in three screen sizes. 43 inch full HD and 55 inch 4K Ultra HD and 65 inch 4K Ultra HD plus HDR10 plus support. And for Oppo K9 5G smartphone, the company has confirmed that it is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 768G processor. Oppo K9 5G features an AMOLED display and that supports up to 90 Hz refresh rate and a 180 Hz touch sampling rate. It measures 7.9 mm in thickness and weighs about 172 grams. And Oppo K9 5G will also have a triple camera on the back, and that is headlined by the 64 megapixel primary camera. It also supports 65 watt fast charging out of the box, and the company claims that it can fully charge the phone in just 35 minutes. More details will be revealed on the day of the launch, which is on May 6th. Yesterday, on April 26, 2021, Oppo revealed during its World Intellectual Property Day that it has applied for more than 61,000 patents across the globe as of 31st March 2021. Out of this large figure, 89 percentage of those were invention patents. A number of these applicants were also regarding mobile phones, camera lenses, and these also includes video tracking and 94 patents for imaging systems. Recently, the company even patented for mobile gaming controllers that even had a earphone storage compartment. Similarly, the brand also patented designs for detachable design with resemble the Microsoft Surface Book. The Nokia 8.3 5G successor could get a 108 megapixel primary rear camera. The phone could be called a Nokia X50. The handset could feature a Quad HD plus 120 Hz display and a 6000 mAh battery. The Motorola Edge family is about to get bigger. The lineup, which made its debut last year with the Edge and Edge Plus, got a China exclusive model called the Edge as earlier this year. Now the details of four new models have surfaced on the web, and one of the phone will have a 108 megapixel camera. Thanks for watching this video. Please kindly support my channel by giving a like, share, and subscribe, and follow Digi Integrity on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.